Hi everyone, here is our math problem for today. We are given this trigonometric expression, sine squared of 10 degrees plus sine squared of 20 degrees plus sine squared of 30 degrees plus, and then continue the pattern until plus sine squared of 90 degrees. And we want to find the value of this expression. You can pause the video and see if you can solve this problem. Now let's solve this problem together. Let's begin by listing down all those other terms that are missing in this list. So after sine squared of 30, we have sine squared of 40 degrees, sine squared of 50 degrees, sine squared of 60 degrees, sine squared of 70 degrees, sine squared of 80 degrees up to sine squared of 90 degrees. Now, let's recall these two identities. We have the Pythagorean identity that says the cosine squared of an angle x plus a sine squared of the same angle, the value is equal to 1, and the sine of x is equal to the cosine of the complement of x, 90 degrees minus x. We are going to use these two identities in order to simplify our equation. Notice here that this 10 degrees and this 80 degrees are complementary angles, this 20 and the 70 are complementary angles. The same with this 30 and 60 and 40 and 50. So that will fit in this second identity here. But in order to have cosine squared x plus sine squared x, we can transform each one of these pink terms into the corresponding cosine function. And so here is the result. Instead of sine squared 10 degrees, we can rewrite that as cosine squared 80 degrees because of this second identity. We replace sine by cosine, and we get the complement of the 10 degrees, which is 80 degrees. And squaring both sides of the equation will result to sine squared cosine squared functions. Now, we are going to do the same for sine squared 20 degrees. We are going to get its equivalent in cosine, which is cosine squared 70 degrees. The equivalent of sine squared 30 degrees in cosine is cosine squared 60 degrees. And the equivalent of sine squared 40 degrees in cosine is cosine squared 50 degrees. All the rest are just copied. Notice now that from here, we have cosine squared 80 degrees and sine squared 80 degrees. We have the same angle represented by this x. And both are squared. So the result is equal to 1. So the sum of these two terms is 1. Also, cosine squared 70 degrees and sine squared 70 degrees is 1. Cosine squared 60 degrees and sine squared 60 degrees is also 1. The same with cosine squared 50 degrees and sine squared 50 degrees. So we now have this result. We use color code to show which one would result to 1 when added. So these blue terms would be equal to 1. These green terms would be equal to 1. These orange terms are also equal to 1. And these red terms would also add up to 1. So we now have this result. The remaining function sine squared 90 degrees is also equal to 1. And so for our final answer, this expression sine squared 10 degrees plus sine squared 20 degrees plus sine squared 30 degrees up to sine squared 90 degrees is equal to 5. And this is now our final answer. So thank you very much and we hope to see you again in our next video. Bye for now.